I'm back with another year. I am back with a vlog. Okay. Go turn on your TV. It's the morning time. I'm finna go ahead and get Kamaya set up for school for virtual learning. Um, her food just got done out of the toaster. We having toaster scrittles this morning. It's 8.07. She has class at 8.30. Did you set up your TV and stuff like I said? Okay, good job. I'm not talking to me. So she's doing that. Just like she's supposed to. Um, let me unplug these lights. Do, 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 do. You want me to keep them on? Mm-hmm. Okay. It'll be coolers. I mean, I'm the house. Okay. Yeah. It kind of look a little dark. Hold on. Oh, yeah. And then this is what I made her. Toaster screws. Oh, they're really hot. So I'm going to let those cool off. And I'm going to feed my rabbit. So he has a litter box that sits right there. And you can just put hay in the front of it. Right there. And then I literally don't know how to like keep stuff from my rabbit, keep them from like get his stuff. And then I'm going to give him, like, because rabbits eat all day, and they're grazers, so if you give them a lot of food, they'll sit there and eat it, but I'm going to give him about that much, and like three carrots. And then that's specifically just for his breakfast, like, <laughs> um, I don't really like him just eating a whole bunch of stuff throughout the day. Um, I probably feed him like four times um and then he can like go back and forth to his bow as he would like but I don't like just giving him plenty food at one time that's what Johnny can do because then he'll sit there and he'll eat it all at one time instead of just freaking waiting instead of just waiting but yeah so let me wash my hands and then go ahead Y'all, today is a really busy day. Kamaya's birthday is the 8th. Today is the 4th. Um, and her party is on the 7th. So, today I have to wash her hair. I have to do her hair. So, today is definitely going to be a long vlog. I also have to clean up as much as possible, as much as I can get done. Because tomorrow, I can clean up a little bit tomorrow too. But because tomorrow... Maya is going to like rock and jump with her dad. So, like I said, definitely have a lot to do. I'm going to give her her toaster scrittles. She got two toaster scrittles. I kind of want to give her some yogurt. Um, yeah. I don't even know if the yogurt is still good. Actually, it might not be. It's good, so I'm gonna give her some yogurt too. Oh, y'all, this is my life. So, put this other scooter right there. I think I'm going to get some of this yogurt today, too. 
because it said that it was going bad January 29th. And I just felt like before we wasted, we need to just do it. Oh, y'all, my nose is running so bad. Hold on. Not hella early, but yeah, we have a long day ahead of us. Okay. Okay, so we got some yogurt. I'll take some apple juice. I'm gonna put it on there yourself. Cat ears. I can, uh, I can do this. Again. Hmm. I'll just change it this here. Time to get tidy. A pin chum and that pin pinch on my right. Grab Candy's hand and hold on tight. Whee! Hey, I'm over here. Come on in. Mm -hmm. Now do this one. Welcome this to one. my dollhouse. We're in the fairy tale garden. First things first, Oops. let's find Candy. Do you see push him? It, push it down. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't see mm -hmm. him. Hug okay. time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hug Andy, time. You give the best hugs. Yeah. Oh, okay. hi, it's me. Candy Paws. Out there, I was a stuffed animal. <clears throat> but in the dollhouse, I up. come alive. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Everything in the dollhouse is catastic. I'm catastic in the dollhouse, too. Can Check I, this um, out. Yeah, it might be hot below it. My cat ears. And <laughs> Kitty cat hair. In the dollhouse, I can get to whatever I want. Like whatever I want to Rainbow hair. Rainbow's my favorite color. I also got to send her for school. Um, so I'm going to get it set up and start it. And then all she'll have to do is hit join um, once 8 30 comes. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all. So, Kamaya is in there taking a nap. Um, <clears throat> I'm rolling up. Um, I got so much to do today. So I'm just kind of like chilling and kind of like prepping myself for what I have to do. Like I'm kind of trying to organize like timelines, I guess. Like I want this to take this many hours or this. Or... Yeah. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I'm sitting here. I'm rolling up. Um, I'm about to, if y'all can hear the music playing, come my room. I'm just like listening to that, thinking about all of what I have to do. Um, I don't know why, y'all, but it's like as soon as Kamaya got home, my energy changed. And spiritually, I've been thinking. It's because history is repeating itself and however I'm feeling now towards Kamaya or just towards at all. Um, it really feels like it's the same as what I felt probably days before I, I had given birth to her. It's crazy, but I did ask feel that way. Like, I just, I feel like I'm experiencing the same feelings that I had then. Because um, I've just been, when I say drained... And at first it was like, okay, I gotta stop eating the edibles every day because it's making me so sleepy every day. And then I'm just like, this is beyond just sleepiness because I'm also irritable. Um, and I'm just like having a hard time. Like, you know, I feel overwhelmed. So I'm like, fuck it. That's what I think it is. And that's the conclusion that I've come up with. But yeah, y'all, I'm gonna just enjoy myself for the next 35 minutes. Um, it's 12, it's exactly 12.30, Kamaya has class at 1 o'clock, they're practicing for the Black History Program, so I got 30 minutes by myself to kick it and relax, and then, um, yeah, I got a little bit of time to kick it and relax, and then, 
I'm gonna um, go ahead and wash Kamaya hair. And I'll see you again when it's time to get her lunch started and for me to wash her hair. Come on here, y'all. So, I was sitting here thinking and smoking and I kind of wanted to pop in because I've been feeling hella overwhelmed lately. And I just really took a moment to kind of appreciate. Um, shout out to this YouTuber. Let me go find her. Because she really just motivated me. Um, because she's so busy. They were talking about how she can barely eat. She barely has time to eat. She always... Um, she always working. She needs to find a healthy balance. Um, she needs to take care of herself. Her name is Slay the Renee Way. Y'all can't see it. Like, I always be doing that. I wish I could. My editing skills are going to get up there to where I can, like, leave, um, pop it in the screen and do all of that. Bear with me because I love the fact that y'all have been with me since before intro, since before I had iMovie. The editing is just going to get better and better and better. Um... But yeah, like I definitely see the family growing. But I've just been noticing how overwhelmed I've been. And it feels so good. Like, I have stuff to do. I have people booking readings. I have people wanting to purchase edibles. Um, like, I have stuff that I want to do. Like, individually, I really want to get my license. I really want to get a new banking account. Um, I really want to start working on my credit so I can start... Um, looking down the line to start owning homes like for plans that are taking place further down the line I need to start making plans now um and that's something that I used to do and then when I fell into my depression I stopped writing as much I stopped jotting stuff down and for me writing stuff down and speaking out loud to myself that is my spell work that is how I cast my spells and I talk with my hand I feel like my hands are my wands um so yeah i just i don't know i definitely want to start taking back care of my body i want to stop um eating meat again um i only eat chicken and seafood but i want to cut out chicken and keep eating seafood and then eventually in like two or three months stop eating seafood again as well but um i really just need to sustain my energy like i'm needed to not get burnt out and kind of see the blessings in being busy because busyness is very valuable um it's very very valuable and i think that is necessary and i think that is needed to to sometimes like keep your mind sharp even like doing puzzles or doing like rubik's cubes or like how some people do like crossword puzzles and sudoku and stuff like that all of those are brain exercises to keep your mind busy, to keep you thinking, to keep, like, I feel like that is supposed to be like that. Like, I feel like that's how our brain gets bigger. That's how, Our brain is like a muscle. Is it a muscle? I don't know. It's probably not a muscle. But to me, I just feel like our brain never stops growing. Like, and even if it does, I don't know. I just feels like, I feel like, how can it stop growing if we learn new stuff every day about us, about the world? Um, you know, like, our brain... I don't know but I just I feel like I want to start working on that again like I want to start reading here and there even like lately I've just been opening up books like reading certain pages out of it even if it's just one page um I know that me opening that book and reading that one page had a message for me um I told y'all in a couple vlogs ago what books I've been reading but Milk and Honey has been one of my favorites it's like a poetry book and then I also had these affirmations. I'm actually going to go ahead and do one with y'all right now. Let's do that. Okay. So these have been the two. Um, so let's start with Milk and Honey. I'm just going to open it up. Ooh. This is the page. This is a long page, but we're going to read it anyway. It's page 96 and 97, so if you guys resonate with those numbers, feel free to look them up. You mustn't have to make them want you. They must want you themselves. I felt that. <laughs> I felt that. Okay. Did you think I was a city? 
Big enough for a weekend getaway, I am the town surrounding it. The one you've never heard of but always pass through. There are no neon lights here, no skyscrapers or statues, period. But there is thunder, for I make bridges tremble. I am not street meat. I am homemade jam, baby. <laughs> Thick enough to cut the sweetest thing your lips will touch. I am not police sirens. I am the crackle of the fireplace. Oh, Okay, I'd burn you, and you still couldn't take your eyes off me, because I look so beautiful doing it. You blush. <laughs> I am not a hotel room, baby. I am home. I am not the whiskey you want. I am the water you need. Don't come here with expectations and try to make a vacation out of me. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, because I got to take a picture of that and put it on my Instagram. I'll do it with the other one. I'll do it with the other one. Oh, because I'm on the phone. The Instagram is on. But, baby. Oh, baby. This was a word. That, that was a word. And I never read that page before. That's why I was kind of, like, stumbling. But I got to put a bookmark because I got to take a picture. People on Instagram need to read that, okay? Um, If you are not already, head over to my personal Instagram at her complex, just like my YouTube. And subscribe and follow me and watch my stories and keep up with me. Um... If you want the other bits and parts of the day that I don't already like, feel me. Okay. And then this is Amazing Grace. It's 365 daily devotionals. So I'm going to read two. I'm going to read one for February 4th. And then I'm also just going to open up the page. So first I'm just going to open up the page and find one. Just because I want to see what energy that we're in today. And it is July 5th. Casting cares. Cast your cares on the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous be shaken. Palms 55 and 22. We have a father who would like to help us carry our load. He is pleased to listen to our petitions, and he offers us comfort when we are distressed. It was never his intention that we should walk alone, nor carry our burdens ourselves. Rather than worrying, we are invited to cast our cares onto him, for he is more than capable of handling them. The Lord wants to see us set free and to sustain us through our journey. When we trust in him for support, we are immovable because of his because of his faithfulness. To walk in righteousness is to rely on the Lord, for then even if the whole world trembles, you will not be shaken. Didn't that didn't that other thing just say something about trembling? I'm sorry. Um, I cast my cares upon you today. God, please relieve my heart and give me peace. Sometimes worry gets the best of me, but then I remember that you are greater than my troubles. I trust you to sustain me amid the amid the strongest storms. What is worrying you today? You finished? Okay. Must be something with Kamaya because she said she finished as soon as um, I finished. So I'm gonna go ahead and take care of her. Start doing her hair for her birthday. And I'll check back into you guys once I get her set up to start doing her hair. I really, really hope you guys liked reading this devotional with me. If you did, leave a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. And we can actually start doing this in maybe every vlog. Okay, y'all. So I've started taking down Kamaya's hair now. Um, That's about as far as I've gotten. Um, But the reason why I wanted to come on here and talk to y'all is because... I've got for that. Let's use our super power baby. Hi, I'm talking to the video. Try it. Sparks crew to the rescue. But yeah, so I guess I was pretty much like I said, I was sitting here watching um like entrepreneur vlogs and like packaging orders and all that kind of stuff. And the girl put I can't hear it. She put her thing and the camera was like, Do y'all like these labels? And I'm like, these are so cute. And then she was like, do y'all hate it? And at first I'm like, don't even second guess because these are bomb. But then I'm like, feedback is so... Did y'all just see that? I'm like, feedback is so, 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 so important. Like, I'm recognizing that I really just need to take a leap. Like, I don't care if people... Not I don't care, but it's okay if people don't like something. It's okay if I mess up. It's okay if I fail a couple times. I feel like if you don't fail, there's no success. Like, in, even when there is success, your success doesn't feel like success if that's the only plateau you've been at. Like, I, I need to fall down. Like, you know, so the, those high ups can feel really, really high up. Like, I'm recognizing how 
just with my YouTube. Like, I keep um, speaking affirmations into myself. Like, I'm fully able to pay all of my bills um, and take care of myself based off YouTube. Like, based off YouTube. And that's not including my other side hustles. I want to fully be able to take care of my bills and sustain myself from YouTube. And it's like, okay... Um, lately I've been telling myself, whatever you do, you're going to get back. So I'm going to watch everybody's ads. And I've been noticing that it's also teaching me patience because I, I didn't have no reason to be skipping an ad that say it's six seconds. Like, of course, if it's like a minute and two minutes and three minutes, them long ones, I'm going to skip them, you know, but other than that, it's like, it doesn't take a lot of time to sit here and watch a commercial. And I want people to do that for me. And then I was like, but if I'm going to watch a commercial... You better hope damn sure, I, not you better hope damn sure, but like, if I'm going to watch a commercial, the content needs to be worthy of me sitting here spending my time watching a commercial because even though YouTube is free, I'm paying you with my time. Like, that's spiritual currency. Like, the time, what I'm spending my time on is spiritual currency. Like, it's like, okay. I don't know, because I could say nothing is a waste of time. I was about to say being on social media could be a waste of time. But me being an influencer, I kind of feel like it can be, it's good and bad. Like, you can waste time on your... What is happening? You can waste waste time on there. But at the same time, I also feel like it's really, really easy to be commenting on stuff. And then people want to click on your stuff, commenting in the shade room or in the YouTuber stuff, like... People look at your comments, people look at your little picture and they click your stuff and they be like, oh, you do YouTube too or, you know, little stuff like that, making network connections and stuff. So I'm kind of learning the pros and cons of failure and, oh, girl, get up. Why? Because I'm supposed to be taking that here. <laughs> and also, I recognize how real of a job YouTube is. Like last night, I rewatched my video and oh, I'm like, okay. dang. I really wasn't present when Kamaya was talking to me, like, because I was doing a video. I'm literally at work, and I can't just not film because I'm busy. I have to film while I'm busy because I film my life. Like, this is now my job. This is my career. This is what I do full-time. I do YouTube um, and social media and readings and stuff. Like, I'm a social media influencer. That's what I do. So, I'm putting myself in a position to recognize, like, I really do be busy. Like, it really is hard to try to concentrate on talking to y'all, giving y'all interesting topics and conversation. Paying attention to her, what's going on in her day, in her mind, her feelings, her emotions, parenting her. And then also making enough time in the day for my own self-care, for feeding myself, um, for actually getting dressed. I still got on the same clothes that I put on after I got out the shower. You know, like, I've been so just overwhelmed with everything because I want to do everything fast. I want to start making it a point to get up and get dressed. I don't want to just wear what I got out the shower in. I want to wake up and get in the shower again, get out my bed that I've just been laying in, put on different clothes and be ready for the world, film videos, work from this time to this time. And then I want to stop spending so much time just watching YouTube and just putting it on my TV, like putting it on my TV. I deleted the app off my phone in order to have more storage so I could download iMovie. And I felt like that was a blessing because now I could just put it on my TV and learn to edit. Like I get ideas like, okay, I like how this person put jazz right here. I like how this person, you know, so I, I, I watch videos because that's what I do. You know, so I'm spending time learning and I'm getting to know different kind of stuff by watching these videos. You know, and this is my networking people like watching vlogs and stuff this is me getting to know them people seeing my name and they comments they seeing me as a supporter um you gotta wait till a low all that kind of stuff it's a lot of stuff that comes into being a social media influencer and i'm starting to recognize that and i think jonathan helped me with that a lot too because he really be networking like he really be doing features with people and doing songs with people and that made me feel like i want to do i want to do collabs with with women and people who do YouTube in Milwaukee, like, it's actually a lot of us. Shout out to, um, her name is Taz with Jazz. They also have Too Much Comedy. They are the family who did my intro. I will leave their links in the description box below. Um, she used to go by, like, Jazzy the Kid. I don't know, I don't know, um, uh, if she still rap and do all that kind of stuff, but her family does comedy. They are the CEO creators of, like, the Slow Rolly Dance and all that kind of stuff. And we went to high school together. 
you know, so just making valuable connections and, you know, doing that kind of stuff is kind of what I'm on right now. I'm ready to take a risk on me. I'm ready to fail sometimes. I want to start getting into my sewing machine stuff. Um, by next winter, I want to be selling my chunky knitted scarves and hats and stuff like that. Like, I'm ready for my business stuff to just take off. Like, I keep watching all these inventory and packaging entrepreneur vlogs. And I'm just like, baby, I manifested that. I'm getting 100 orders a week right now. That's like, okay, I'm getting 100 orders a week. Whether it be readings, um, brownies, edibles, um, tie-dye t-shirts, whatever it is that I want to do. You know, I got. I feel like it's so many different things that I want to do in this lifetime that I have to just get the ball moving. Like, I want to just have my feet in everything but yeah y'all it's i'm talking a lot so i will catch y'all when i'm a little further along in my day okay y'all so i just got done washing sky's hair she did a great job because what say because i'm four and i'm the birthday girl so her birthday is coming up this weekend so we're gonna do her hair nice and cute i got her daddy on the way gonna bring me some beads for her hair we finna make her look cute, 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 cute. And now she feeling cute. I can tell she feeling cute because she got her hair washed. Cause now she talking about putting on mascara. My girl, mascara. Oh. Yeah. So I got this, and I'm just gonna leave this all throughout her hair, like just because. But this is the Garnier Whole Blend Smoothing Conditioner with coconut let me put it back I, girl i just lost that top i don't even think you lost that top i think i did that okay and then i just got a wide tooth comb wide tooth comb <laughs> wide tooth comb um, I'm going to put this all throughout her hair, and then I'm going to also grease her scalp and stuff, too. Um, but I'm going to do that, like, as I'm braiding and stuff. You look beautiful. Put it in your hair. so cute with your afro girl i wish i knew how to maintain your afro what am i hurting you <laughs> what i'm just making the bears <laughs> why your face look like that then i guess <laughs> but yeah look how my baby hurts so long <laughs> So blessed. Oh, God gave me just the cutest little thing. Like, dude, I, I love her. I love her hair. Like, I love her face. I love her. Like, I just love her. I love your cheeks. I love her teeth. I love her little lips, her nose, her eyes, her eyelashes, her eyebrows, her daddy eyebrows. I love her. Like, she's so cute. She's so bomb. You know that? Say I'm beautiful. beautiful. Say I love me. I love you. Say I'm smart. I'm smart. I'm kind. Okay. I'm courageous. Okay. I'm brave. I'm brave. I'm strong. I'm strong. I'm powerful. I'm powerful. I'm safe. I'm safe. And I'm protected. I'm protected. Period. Period. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Get in there, girl. Why? Get in there. Do it. Do it with both your hands. Put that down. Do it. Go, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all, we'll check back in when we get a little bit um, <laughs> further in our day because the video already like 30 minutes or something, and um, it's only like 2.30, so we'll be back. So we finally finished our hair, and it is 8.23. I've been doing her hair all day. <laughs> all day and that is what it looks like show them your hair show them your hair <laughs> she trying to act like she don't like her hair she love her hair don't you like it shake it 
she being so naughty because she's tired. But it's 8 23. Um, this girl just asked me if I could schedule her a reading for her tonight. I told her at 9 30. So I have an hour. I'm finished straightening up Kamaya's room and all that kind of stuff. Um and just be yeah, getting ready for <laughs> the end of the night. I'm pro I really want to clean up and take a bath tonight. Even if I don't get everything clean, I have tomorrow to clean up the house. But tonight, for sure, tonight. Yeah, I'm taking a bath. Like I need to relax and rejuvenate and get myself together. But yeah, I'm we finished little baby here. <laughs> okay, y'all. So I'm running Kamaya's bathtub. Um, and I am actually straightening up her bedroom for the night. I got my gallon of water today. Ugh. Blogging is definitely going to help keep me accountable of me drinking water for sure. I did her hair, so she got hair all over the floor. I'm just sweeping it up, getting it on the body here. I kind of want to just, um, I'm going to just vacuum. I'm just going to vacuum real quick because, um, why not? I'm kind of in a rush because I had to read it at 9.30 and it's 8.40 right now. So, I still have to get my in the tub and, um, up the, out, uh, well, never mind, I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm so out of breath, but yeah, her night light. Thank you. 
Take off your clothes and stuff. Okay. Her water is ran. Okay, y'all. I'm finna. Put in some colors. Hmm? Can I some colors? Yep. I got some um, bleach and stuff up in the toilet that I'm finna. Um, that I'm finna clean out of there. She put colors in her tub every night. You get one. What color do you want? Pick one. Pick one color. Want a color tonight? Why? I don't. Hmm. I gonna pick red. That's the same one. Okay, I'll come back when I'm getting her out the tub and stuff. Okay, y'all. So Kamaya is asleep. I just got off the phone with Jonathan, and I'm making um, me some pasta right now and Livy is right in my face so yeah I'm making me some pasta it's gonna be like a it's a red sauce but I'm also putting cream cheese in here so Hear me turn you down. Good. Okay. Normally, I will put sugar in here, but because the cream cheese is in here and that's sweet, I really don't need the, um, the sugar. It's already turned turn creamy. I was gonna put this in the oven with some mozzarella cheese on top. I was gonna bake it, but now it's late. It's about two o'clock in the morning, um, so I'm not gonna do all of that anymore. Should I season it? Stop living. Like, what are you trying to get at this point, dude? Like, back up. He's always all in my space. Always. Always in my space. Oh. I don't even know if 
video, I just saw what the fuck just happened. I kind of want to eat these with some hot He got an itchy case scratch. He keep doing his head like that. I wish I had some wine. I'll make it like a penny rosy. I'm the only one eating this shit. I don't get no goddamn. I wasn't even gonna cook, but I was already up on the phone, so I figured why. Lovey just thumped at me. I hate when he thumps at me. That means that he's agitated or irritated or he wants some attention or something. And it scared me, like, when he did it. <laughs> did you I scared his ass. He left. He ran. <laughs> he like, bitch. First of all. I bet Jonathan ain't asleep. I'm finna call him back. It's the end of the night. I'm tired. I got to my hair done. I cleaned up my bedroom. Like, I got enough done to where I feel very, very accomplished. I feel very, very accomplished. I don't know why I just got the hell of whispering. I don't know. Weird shit been going on with me. I feel like I just looked up. I be looking up seeing this shit. Like, all day. Literally all day. Not just today. I'm saying like it happens to me all day. Like all throughout the day. I'm just like what the fuck. Like what's, what exactly is happening be real confused but I've been trying to train myself to like not be afraid or anything but to just accept it and 
you know, be like, you done called on spirits, you done said spirit help me, God help me, I need help, or whatever, so don't be, you know, don't feel no type of way, when help show up. I put an offering um, on my altar for my daughter and for Zai. I put his bear up there. And Kamaya always got stuff up there. She got pictures up there. She be having her little toys up there. Yeah. something for all three of my kids up there. Lovey just made noise like whatever happened. It's always what about him? What about him? What about him? But yeah, I'm not gonna just be sitting here um not talking about shit. Not doing shit. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys made it all the way to the end, give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Share this on Facebook with all your friends. And, um, yeah. I'm out of here, y'all.